Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today and that this video finds you in great spirits. Today we'll be talking about the world's greatest assassin uh, has been reincarnated as an aristocrat and that is a mouthful. And I first off would like to say thank you to those of you, the one or two of you who will be watching this video and hopefully you may get past the first 45 seconds. Anywho, uh, I would say that this uh, um, anime is for those who are probably a little older. I would say at least juniors or seniors in high school and uh, above. Uh, just because it does deal with some um, dark topics, to say the least. Uh, at the beginning, the very first episode, you see young women being sold as, for, as slaves. Um, it appears that they are being sold as sex, sex slaves. And later on, I think, I um, can't really remember what, which episode exactly, but we also see another group of young women, probably in their early teens, being sold as um, as sex slaves. And you don't, while you don't see the actual act, you do see how they act before and then after they go on their uh, date and uh, ramifications of what happened and their spirits being shattered and stuff afterwards. So it has got some dark uh, storylines uh, to this. So that's why I would recommend it to at least some to those little older um late teens not so much to the pre-teens and also there is some graphic violence in this uh so basically what this show is about is there's this guy we we'll say assume that he's living on earth he's a very great assassin probably the best assassin ever like it says the great assassin and he gets betrayed and he dies and when he's in the spirit world there's a goddess who gives him opportunity to be reborn to be reborn with all his memories and his abilities that he's learned on through his first life. However, the catch is that he has to kill the hero of another world uh, because the hero will eventually destroy that world after this hero de uh, defeats uh, the main villain, like the, the overlord of the world that they're in. And so she wants him as a goddess. So she wants him to kill the hero after the hero saved the world and before the hero destroys the world. That's basically what the premise of the story is. Um, however, this first season, I will imagine there has to be more seasons uh, just because how it ended. Uh, the first season basically is covering um, his training and this new world and his gathering of, of followers, I guess you can say, or allies to help him defeat this hero eventually uh this uh anime probably has one of the best openings ever it has like a great montage that uh reminds me a lot of the openings of a james bond movie uh and the song that goes with it it's great i have no idea what they're saying because it's in japanese and there's no subtitle subtitles for it but it's very it's a very catchy song i wish i knew what they were saying uh, I actually love this song, and I love the whole uh, opening to this show. It's probably one of the best openings I've ever seen. Here we, I can just watch it over and over again and be satisfied with this series. However, the series is very great as well, as we see the development of this character once he gets reincarnated, as he's uh, getting introduced to his new family, his mother and father. We see the family aspect of it. We get to learn the history of this family, that there actually are uh, a heritage of assassins, and it's what they do. They help the kingdom by assassinating people who could be eventual threats to that kingdom. Uh, it kind of sounds like either with the king's approval or without the king's approval, uh, and they're very aware that at any time that they could be portrayed and be uh, on the chopping block. And it, so it does a very great job in introducing his new life. And we get to see his development. Uh, we see his change from his previous life to his new life. He doesn't want to... Uh, he wants something more than just to be an assassin. Just somebody he kills. He wants to actually have a family. Have people he can rely on and care for. And that they care for him as well. Uh, he just doesn't want to be a machine out there uh, killing people. He wants to have the choice on who he can kill and and if they deserve to die or not uh, which is a very interesting part of this show uh we get introduced to his three he recruits three young ladies so in a way this is kind of like charlie's angels in a bit only 
Charlie's actually a, the main character out there fighting alongside his angels. And he picks these three women who are, have their own uh, special abilities and stuff. And so he's able to utilize them. Uh, and he's not really like a great good guy, you know. He doesn't do everything that's good. He kind of is black. He's kind of in the gray area. Some things he does is very charitable, but some things he does is very disgusting. Uh, not disgusting, but you know, not on the very good end of the spectrum. Makes it clear that he on a, a couple of these girls at least he's manipulate manipulating them to do his will. Uh, but he also cares for them as well. And he takes care of them. Um, and it's this, like, uh, most animes, you have, like, the male, the lead character is kind of, like, shy from girls. He acts really weird from them. At least on this one, he's actually, you know, he doesn't act cowardly around girls. He acts like a real man. And, you know, he kind of helps them out. And he's not shy around them. He does have a couple of embarrassing moments in this, which I won't spoil. Uh, but there are uh, a couple embarrassing or well, at least one embarrassing moment when um he's in there's no uh how to say this there's no sex in this thing at all nothing like that but uh one of the girls they don't really like sleeping alone so there's a scene where they're all slept together in the same bed and there's a funny part that happens the next morning when they wake up uh, which i won't get into you can use your uh you watch it or use your own imagination to that uh but anyways it's a very good show. Uh, it develops each character. You get to know um, everybody's background. You get a feel for uh, his three partners and get to understand them and see them grow as well out throughout the series. And um, it basically ends, like the first episode is basically kind of like the ending of the series, of the, at least the first season. Um, once you watch it, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, so if you've never seen our reviews, uh, when we do these, uh, we don't give it a grade. We just have three basic premises, like don't recommend, which means we recommend to stay away from it. Uh, recommend with caution, which means that if you have, you'll like it, if you have a specific taste and highly recommend it's like, you'll probably definitely like this no matter what your taste is. And this one, I would say I would highly recommend this one. I think this is a, definitely a much, uh, you must see series. Um, it's one of the best animes that I've seen here in the last year. I think you'll enjoy it a whole lot, especially if you're into like that fantasy stuff like we like here in this, uh, on this channel. We talk about a lot of fantasies, fantasy shows. And so I hope you enjoy this and I hope you everybody have a great day and leave comments. We're always interested in the comments. If you've seen this before, let us know if you liked it or not. If you didn't like it, um, uh, anything you agree or disagree with what we just said and hope you all have a great day and until next time bye